but we do need four stacks of each still. So we need four stacks of sand and we need four stacks of clay. The clay is going to be fairly easy to get. It's going to be the sand here. That's going to be a little difficult, or at least, you know, uh, it's going to be difficult for my OCD. <laughs> so, but, you know, that's not really too much of a problem. And because with the clay, you get four clay for every block that you dig out. So, you know, getting only one sand for each of these is going to be a little tedious, but that's okay. Not too much of a problem. Just keep taking it out. So I've already gotten one stack, which is good. Just keep taking it out from the inside here. There we go. Okay, let's go back over to these surface ones here. How much do we have? We have one and a half stacks so far. Take all this. One go up here. Nope. Here, keep taking this. So, like I said, the landscape is going to be ruined, but it's fine. It does not matter at this point, because after that ridiculousness, it's worth it. It's worth the landscape looking like poop. Because I don't. It's not like I live over here or anything. Let's grab all this. <gasps> Fight the current! There we go. Ah, I made it. Okay, cool. Don't even have two stacks yet. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's keep taking it then. We need four stacks. Because with the Coke oven, it just requires bricks and sand. In kind of like a dynamite crafting recipe, but not. It's got clay and sand instead. Um, so we're going to have to cook up all the clay into bricks, and then we're going to have to have all of the uh, sand. And you need five sand per, and there's 26 coke oven bricks that we need. So you can see why we need a lot of these materials um, in order to make the stuff that we need to have. Just keep on grabbing the sand. You're going to go in the water, Mr. Cow. Apologize. I need the sand. Oh, and the pig. Is this tree growing on sand? Can you move? Thank you. That tree is growing on sand. I've never seen that before. Look. Usually only grows on dirt, right? That's a glitch. Glitchy generation. Probably one of these laggy mods is responsible. Me. Thank you. Is he gonna drown? Please don't drown. I'll totally regret taking the sand out from under you. Not really. How much do we have? We have almost four stacks. Beautiful. So not too bad. Just keep taking it from here. Didn't take too long to get it. And then it'll be a lot quicker to get the clay, thankfully. Should have just done this instead of looking for a desert and then eventually dying. Inevitably dying, I should say. And this current is really annoying. But it's worth it. It'll all be worth it. Take all this. Should have close to the four stacks now. I hate the currents. There we go. And we do have four stacks. Beautiful. Now let's go over and find some clay, if we may. And uh, then we can finally, finally, finally get started on the Coke oven. Is there a shallower area over here? I know there was a shallower area I was taking. I was getting clay from before. Where, is, where did that go? That was nice. I missed that. Where That was nice. Where was that? Let's see if we can find it. You know, because our searching always goes so well. <laughs> our searching always goes so well. I never die or anything. Maybe there's some over here. Sand. No clay. There's some clay right there. I see it. This one's 
take all this. Thank you very much. Get the rest of it from here. Cool. We're gonna need more than that though. That was not even a stack yet. Just gotta keep looking. This piece there. Should be more over here, this shallow area. Hopefully. No, this isn't shallow. There was that shallow area, remember? I got all the clay from before and then I lost it all. It's gotta be around here somewhere. I'll look for it. Because, you know, the uh, inconvenient thing is never the better way to go. <laughs> I didn't learn from my mistake, did I? Not at all, pretty much. Pretty much didn't learn anything. It's probably over here. Famous last words. It's probably over here. Here it is. This was the area. Yeah, there it is right there. This is the shallow area, I believe. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. And we're getting hungry, so we'll drink some juice. This actually isn't it, but it is a shallow area, so I will take the resources from it. Gosh darn it. Excuse me. <laughs> Just some reeds in the way there. Okay, so we have almost two stacks. Just not enough. We need the four, at least. Just so I'm comfortable. Like, we probably don't need exactly four, but I'm going to be a lot more comfortable with saying, oh, we have four stacks. That should be enough. Than saying, oh, we have two stacks. That's not going to be enough at all. This is all sand. There's some clay right there. There we go. Take these two as well. I did say that a majority of the time would be spent uh, collecting the sand and the clay, so I wasn't wrong. I hope you guys were prepared <laughs> prepared for this. You know, it's not the most fun job, but once we actually get it done, then uh, it'll benefit us greatly in the long run. There's some other jobs that are like that as well, if you know what I mean. Let's make this. Take these two, should be over three stacks now. Yeah, so we're going on four. Let's just take this last little um, section here, should be enough. Should be enough to hold this over. And then I have the right coordinates now to get back to the base. It's 500, not 1606. Okay, let's grab all this and we should have enough now. Yep, perfect. All right, let's head back to base. So where am I at? I need to be at 500 and negative 988. So I need to go that way and that way. Okay, so we'll go this way first and then we need to go north from there. Thankfully, I know where I'm going this time. Let's turn off the coordinates. We'll just head off in the appropriate direction. We might not even get to the smeltery this uh, session, but that's okay. Totally okay. We'll get to it next time. That's part of the, the series thing, right? Looking forward to getting stuff done. Let's take these guys out. Oh, it's just one. I thought I saw another one behind him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I wasn't wrong. We'll run away from him. Make it all the way back to base. Right over here. And finally, we have the materials that we need to start making the coke oven. Now, the real question is, do we have the coal to smelt all of this clay? And the answer is, no. No, we do not. So what we're going to have to do is make a pickaxe. Luckily, I still have some sticks left over. We'll make a pickaxe. We'll actually make another one. And then we're just going to, like, get as much coal as we possibly can uh, from what we have mined out already. So I'm going to grab all of this coal here. Cause we're going to need, uh, at least like 32 in total coal. I think, I think at least 32 in total. We have 18. So maybe this little vein should do it. 
should do it. This little vein should do it. How much is that? 13, so that's what? That's 31? Of course. Of course, one short of what I need. There should be some more coal down here somewhere. I'm guessing. Yes, there is. Perfect. I'll take it. Take all of it. And then we can start smelting up the uh, say or the what is it? Clay into bricks. And then we'll have the sand ready to make the cook oven. While the clay is smelting up, we'll make the space for the cook oven itself. So we'll have it ready once all the clay is done. Until the bricks are done. We've taken this was this tin. I'll need that eventually. I'll just leave this uh, little cave open so I can grab the tin later. So we're going to need the tin to make one of the, probably the tool that we're going to have the longest is a bronze tool. And we need tin and copper for that. So we'll leave that little opening there so we know the tin is there for later. Like I said, just repeating myself over and over again. Keep om nom nomming away at this. Okay, let's head back up. Oops, I'm stuck. There we go. Okay, let's head back up. Oh yeah, I got plenty now. So I need to divide the clay into four for the furnaces and then divide the coal into four for the furnaces. We'll be good to go. Let's head back upstairs. I don't think this will be too much of a problem. I think anything will spawn there. Famous last words again. Okay, so let's divide these into four. Actually, I want to calculate how much we actually need. So these coke oven bricks are what we need to make these here. So you need four bricks for each, and there's 26. So that's four times 26 is 80 plus 24 is 104. So we need 104 of these. So we need 64 and 40. And then we'll divide those into four like that. And like that. And then we'll divide the coal into four beneath it. We get the 18 from here. There we go. Okay, so we'll put those in there. 18 and 26. 18 and 26. 18 and 26. Okay, so while that's all smelting up, we need to make a space for our Coke oven. I think I'm going to make it kind of like the same area as I did in my streaming world. Uh, so it's going to be right next to this little farming area. Off to the side here. We'll push this back. And it's going to go right in here. Right next, on the other side of this wall from the uh, farming area. It needs to be a 3x3x3 three by three by three space. It's 3 high, 3 wide, 3 long. So if you're ever wondering, now you know. I'm going to have to dig out the roof of this too. Like so. I need to light it up. So I gotta make some more torches as well. Grab some uh, coal from one of the furnaces and make a torch or two. There we go. Okay, so let's get some. Uh, I have cobblestone, right? I just mined a bunch out. So let's make some torches. 16 should be good. Very nice. Okay, let's put one of those over by where the coke oven's gonna go. Probably right here. Cool, cool. Grab whatever's in our farm real quick. Some grapes, some raspberries. Very nice. These, uh, that's grapes, right? What is this? Candleberries. Candleberries are not growing. So I'm thinking this plant cannot grow here. I don't know if you can see that in the small print on top of the screen, but there you go. That plant cannot grow here. But that's okay. We'll just leave it. Okay, so we have... We need to calculate how much um, sand that we need. So there's 5 for every coke oven brick. So 5 times 26 is 100 plus 30, so 130. So we need 2 stacks and 2. Okay. So this is what we're going to have left over for the smeltery right here. We're probably going to grab uh, another stack or so, maybe just um, 
another 25 and then complete this deck. So 26 more sand at some point, and then we're gonna need to get that much gravel as well, just so we have an even amount. So we'll have two stacks and 25, and then we'll just have that to start making the smeltery. How is this looking? Hopefully there's like a gravel vein that I uncovered down here somewhere. We can just grab some, get a head start on it. Mm, this looks dangerous. There's no gravel peeking out anywhere. Go around here. Whoop. Careful. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any gravel peeking out. Maybe over here. Nope. Surprising. Usually there's gravel pretty commonly. And it gets pretty annoying when you're making a strip mine and everything. But it seems like we're on a roll for finding things that are normally common. Or not finding things that are normally common, rather. Maybe there's a little vein over here. A vein of gravel. This is sad. <laughs> Nope, and over there. Okay, so we'll just, uh, maybe we'll start making a little strip mine and see if we can find one that, oh, hang on, maybe there's one down here. 